Hey there, welcome to Let's Talk with me, Marshawn Evans Daniels, where we break down issues related to life, business, and politics. Today we're talking about entrepreneurship and whether Donald Trump is good for small business. But before we dive into that, make sure that you subscribe here on this YouTube channel at Marshawn Evans and that you connect with me at Marshawn.com. I am a millionaire business mentor, meaning that I mentor others in how to build their own multi-million dollar company and business. It's one of the things that I love doing. And I've also worked with Donald Trump on The Apprentice. I was on season four, was on 10 out of 13 weeks, and I got an opportunity to work with him up close and personal, all on camera and on set. And so when I think about all of the fear and the hesitation and the controversy surrounding this new administration and this new presidency, I think about it in a lot of different forms and facets. I think about it as a citizen, think about it as a woman, as a woman of color, and as a woman of faith, but also as an entrepreneur, as someone who runs a very successful company, who has a payroll, who has a staff, and has responsibilities. And I'm always thinking about what does a new administration mean? What, do policy, what are policies going to mean? What, are, what changes are going to be put in place? And how are they going to impact not just me and my family, but how are they going to impact those that I put money on other people's tables in terms of those paychecks and in terms of the opportunity to be able to grow my business. So you might be thinking the very same thing. Would a Trump administration be good for your business? I shouldn't say would, but it will because it's happening regardless. And maybe by the time you've watched this video, we already have a new commander in chief and president of the United States. So here's what I know. Here's what I know. I know that I'm very good for my business, regardless of who's in office. And I think that certain sense of certainty is something you have to have and you have to know. Um, the good thing is that when there is uncertainty, usually that's actually the best time for your business because most people are more hesitant and it's the confident, the decisive ones that actually move ahead, get ahead and actually make up a lot of ground. Um, so I actually grew my business in the midst of what was considered a recession. And because most people were hesitant to invest in themselves, to learn, to grow, to launch and to leap, those who did were the ones that are ahead, right? And able to actually, they're not as nervous right now. So I really, um, as a citizen, I certainly care about who's in office. As a, as a business owner, I care because my business is a part of this country and a part of the global marketplace. Um, but I also know that regardless of who is in office, that I have to be the best commander, right? The commander in chief of my company. And so do you. So what is it that you can do to be prepared to make sure that your business grows, even if you're just getting started, if you are not really started just yet, you have a side hustle right now and you have a dream sometime in the next year or even sooner to be able to run your own full-time company or maybe you have a very successful enterprise and you want to blow this baby up and expand it and take it to the next level there are a few things that i think are critically important number one number one you got to pay attention you got to pay attention and the reason i say that is because entrepreneurs the profitable ones the successful ones the sustainable ones are those who have the ability to see S-E-E. -E. Now C is not just the regular word, it actually stands for they can see enterprise everywhere. So regardless of what's happening, you've got to remember that one of the ways that we as business owners, as influencers, as dreamers who actually do something with our dreams, one of the ways that we have influence is by making a great living with what we do. I'm not one of those people who believes that money is everything, but I do believe that money gives you choices and money also amplifies your voice. So you've got to pay attention to the pockets of profitability. What opportunities are going to be available? What needs can you service in the marketplace? So number one, first and foremost, you've got to pay attention because profitability is simply the, uh, the result of a company that meets a need in a really great way to a lot of people who actually need it. So they put their services, their solutions, their products in front of those who are looking for it and they paid attention and they capitalized upon that. So number one, you've got to pay attention. Number two, you've got to be in position. 
You've got to be in position, meaning that you need to start developing the right partnerships. You need to have perhaps the right education, the right training. Maybe this is the time for you to actually get a coach and invest in yourself and develop your skill set and your ability for the things that you don't know so that you can actually maximize the things that you do know. So getting in position is really important. Part of getting in position means taking a faith leap and doing things that you've never done and putting yourself in circumstances and in front of people and environments and places and things that are outside of your comfort zone. Because again, hey, it's the it's the it's those who are the most confident and you don't have to be confident in the sense that you got to know everything. Right? You can do this thing afraid, but you've got to be willing to put yourself in position to where you're able to grow. Like if you only do the things that you know and that you do well, you're never going to grow. You're never going to reach your potential and you're certainly never going to maximize your business. There's so many things that I've learned in environments that I wasn't the smartest person in the room and that's the best position to be in when you're getting in position so that you can actually be able to lead and to grow. So number one is pay attention. Number two is you gotta be in position. And number three is kind of related to that, which is preparation. Preparation. And you know, once you have started to really pay attention to what the opportunities are for expansion or for getting started, and then you've started to look at where do I need to be, prepare yourself to be able to present what it is that you have to the world. So many people, um, fail or never get started because they're underdeveloped, right? Underdeveloped. And so I firmly believe that you cannot get a return on an investment that you've never made. And so when I say it's important to invest in yourself, it's important to be prepared, it's important to kind of think through, not overthink, but definitely to have a plan in place. You know, dreams are great, but they still need direction to go the distance. So make sure that you are committing to be prepared and to preparing yourself for the position and for the profit, for the places that you wanna be, for the things that you wanna do. Finally, um, you've gotta be willing to partner. Partnerships are really important and I don't believe that you're gonna be able to get to where it is that you wanna be all by yourself. You're going to need other people in your corner. You're gonna to need to be able to actually trust some other folks along the way. Yeah, discernment's important. And you don't wanna neglect that, but you also don't wanna be a lone ranger. The secret, if you come in a little closer, I'll tell you, most entrepreneurs are really lonely. They do this all by themselves. And so finding partnerships that are strategic. Um, now these partnerships can be spiritual, you can have prayer partners. You can have business partners that are actually have equity stake in your company. You can have colleagues that encourage you. You could be in a mastermind program or, and have colleagues that are in a coaching program along with you and are learning the same types of things. Or maybe you actually have a coach as well. But let me just tell you, or, and you're going to need a staff. You're going to need a team. You're going to need people that you can actually hire. But you got to be open to these things. These are going to be the keys to success, right? Regardless of who's in office. You've got to pay attention. You've got to put yourself in position. You've got to be prepared and you've got to be willing to partner. That's what's going to make you profitable in this next season. And I'm rooting for you. I believe in you. I know the best is within you. It's just waiting to manifest through you. So stop complaining. We've got to hold our politicians and our political figures accountable. But instead of complaining, get engaged, let's be involved. And let's also remember as we're involved civically and running for office ourselves and doing things where we are um, using our voices and making sure to hold those in civic leadership accountable. Um, as we're doing that, let's not forget that one of the ways that we can amplify our voice is not just by yelling and complaining and even just calling in and writing letters, those things are important, but money also has a voice. So I believe that one of the things that we can do, if you have an entrepreneurial calling, is that you can be successful at your business. That's gonna give you more opportunities. It's gonna give you more influence. It's gonna give you the opportunity to give into the organizations that you believe in and to advance the causes that you believe in because money is not a miracle. Money is a result. It's a result of, that, of these things that I've talked about. It's a result of paying attention. It's a result of being in position and preparation and it's even a result of having the right partnership so that you can be profitable. And when you do those things, you put yourself in a place where you're not really that nervous about what's gonna to happen to your own personal economy and the economy that you have the ability to influence 
and to a certain extent, um, I won't say control because we're never 100% in control. I believe that there's only one that's in control, but you're not scared and you're not nervous. And quite frankly, that's my desire for you. That's my hope for you. That's my prayer for you. That is my intention for you as you listen to this message today. So tell me, what is it that you're going to do to position yourself to um, be in the best position possible and profitability for your company, for your dream, for your desires, for your goals in the years to come. I can't wait to hear from you. Visit me at marshawn.com so that you can stay connected. I have some free gifts for you there. And make sure that you are subscribed at YouTube forward slash Marshawn Evans. That's all for today on Let's Talk. Take care and God bless. I will see you the next time. Bye-bye.